All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check this one out, actually on the other side of the island here in Ottawa County, Marblehead. But you can see, this is a 20 by 40 lean-to that uh, you can see an existing building right there, 612. So what we did on this, okay, what we did, we took a mono style off that 612. And what we did is we took that mono one and a half, the slope on that, we ran that. Okay, you can see here 20 as I walk through here. But you can see here, we'll go in here, we'll look at the trusses. But that's how you do it, you know. You got a building that's a 612 and you want to do a lean to, you want to extend it, add obviously a little bit more storage. That's what we did, a mono truss right there, a one and a half slope off of that. And then you can see what we did is we can put, or what we did is uh, we put the Wayne's code actually on the interior. We closed that off there, so we put the wainscot there, three foot wainscot. This obviously the sidewall steel, but you can see how we connected those trusses right there. See how we did that? Let me show you, so you can see that little greater detail right there. How we did that? How we connected that? And again, hurricane ties. You can see the hurricane ties obviously stop the uplift. Although this building's a little tighter, you can see it's it's, but still, nevertheless, Ottawa County high winds, obviously safety first. But you can see what we did right there. We can put that two by eight board right there below there. And then we put the mono trusses right there on top of that. So let me show you that, how that's done. So if you DIYers wanna get that done, you have a building that you wanna extend out there, that's a little bit more, I wouldn't say complex, but a little bit more nuanced and this is, just a freestanding building. There's some detail on that. So that's what you can do there. So again, two by four, uh, two feet apart. Now in this one, we use, obviously you probably can see here, a six by six post. Six by six post right here on this building. Baseboard, a two by 10 baseboard. All right, and get the grade here and then obviously I believe this customer most likely probably pour concrete. Obviously cold right now, but when the weather breaks, I uh, hope pour concrete. But six by six post there. And then you can see on this side, on the eave side, you can see what we did it again, a double top beam truss carrier, again with hurricane ties. And we obviously put the trusses, set them on that. Again, we don't notch. I know uh, some of the other companies, they notch. They notch, uh, they notch their trusses. Actually on this one, I will take that back though as I look at this. We did actually, you can see right there on that six by six. So again, it depends on the application, what you're doing. Again, this had a little bit more, a uh, um, little bit different things, but you can see how we put that, we kind of notched it right there on that six by six. On this one, we didn't, we put it right there on the top, double top beam right there. We did a little bit of a notch there, as you can see there. You can see what we did, we spaced it out four feet apart. So a different way to do it. And then right here, vapor barrier, put vapor barrier underneath that. All right, for condensation control. So this kind of gives you an idea. If you want to do a lean to, or in addition to an existing building to give you more storage, that's what you can do. So keep following the journey. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, Give it a thumbs down. We appreciate comments either or, but uh, for more information, you can visit atticlumber.com. You can call us 49426-BARN. And then actually, let me, I'll pan out here, just kind of show you some depth perception. Muddy out here, but uh, we'll uh, kind of show you what this is doing here. So you can see we match the, the colors right here. See the color? Pretty doggone close there, that color. So match the color. Sometimes you get a fade going on, the building ages and so forth. But this actually looks pretty doggone good as far as from a color, from a color schematic uh, view here. It looks pretty doggone close. So sometimes it's tough to do depending on the age and the sun, the fade of the building, but we're able to do that. So, all right, more information at a